Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the challenges that released today. I'll show you guys. The meteoric challenges, or the meteoric rise. Alright guys, you guys have a long time to complete these. Alright, so basically what you guys get, we have the XP, right? 3000 XP total. Star Surge backlink, power through the rifts, part of the visitor set. It's, it's okay. Alright, then we have 2000 XP. Then your final challenge is the scientist all right his mission is unknown one of the seven part of the visitor set and selectable styles i'll show you guys what those styles are right now scroll down okay that's the little picture all right these are the styles we have the normal face right then we have crosshair and then you have dancer i don't understand that dancer one much um then you have glitch that one's pretty awesome and then smile. So glitch and smile are my favorites, but um, I think these are really cool. I think this guy's awesome. Um, and his backling. Let's see what his backling looks like. Did I favorite that? No. All right. Star surge. He looks pretty cool with the backling. So that is it. This is the guy. They changed the name from Visitor Volta the, to the Scientist. All right. Now I wanted to talk about his description. It says his mission is unknown. One of the seven. So that obviously reveals the visitor is a boy, if it was known already. And he is one of the seven, alright? So if I have a picture, I'll show it on screen right now. But um, the visitor, the original visitor, has actually gotten that description too. With uh, one of the seven. And so that's two out of the seven. We have the scientist. And we have the visitor. I feel like we're going to have other these. Like maybe the prisoner. Okay, now this leads to my theory. Maybe... There's five others, right? There's five others. The prisoner could be one. The ice king could be one, right? So we have fire and ice. And then we have two techie guys. Um, now, I'm going to hop into game real quick. Let me go to creative mode. Um, but one thing I wanted to mention is I feel like there could be... There, or there's obviously five other um, characters, but these five other characters, we could already have some of them. Like I was saying, I feel like the Ice King and the Fire King could 100% be two of them. Because uh, because they both have the at the start of their names. And I know other characters do too, like World Cup winner. No, I thought it was the World Cup. Wait, no. Like, um, uh, what was I, the, the Ice Queen. Uh, I don't feel like that's an excuse though. I don't feel like that's a character. I don't feel like that would be that important to the storyline. Uh, okay, that was weird. My game just crashed real quick. I had to load it back up. Um, Alright, that was weird. Okay, now what I was saying is... I kind of lost track of what I was saying. I might repeat something. Apologize. Um, the Prisoner, I feel like, could be one of the characters. And the Ice King, I feel like, could be one of the characters. Because these are two very significant people um, that have been in our storyline. Two very significant characters. So that's four so far. We have the, the normal visitor, we have this guy, the scientist, we have the Ice King, and we have uh, the prisoner. I feel like those four can 100% be the characters. Now I'm going to discuss what I think the other four, or the other three could be right now. Um, so the first thing is when the iceberg crashed into the island and the castle uh, slowly melted, or the snow slowly melted around the castle and everything, and we were able to get a good view of the castle, um, well, we went inside and there was the table, there was that one knocked over chair, and blah blah blah. Well, um, that knocked over chair actually was an element, an element on it, and that was the fire element, which was the prisoner. And the Ice King had his throne and everything. Well, there were like four or three other chairs at that table, and I feel like those chairs could 100% be the seven characters that are, um, that are in the description of these two visitors. I feel like these seven are 100% going to be like very important people for the storyline. And I feel like they can change everything. I don't know what everything is, but I feel like they could change everything. Um, but I think that's really cool, and I really do believe that the Ice King and the Prisoner could very well be two of the seven characters. Alright, now, past that, I'm going to move on to this. Alright, <clears throat> so I already made a video the other day. Uh, I think I. Didn't I make a video yesterday about the rocket area being built over here? 
at the Rocket Live event and how it could change the map. Yeah, I did that. So, basically, it's actually going great over here. The rocket, you can see, hasn't been built yet. Has not been built yet. But, let's fly down here. You can see that rocket pieces have appeared. Right? Can't break them. Can't break them. They're indestructible. So, they are important. Um, let me walk over here. Let me see if I can see any more stuff. He's Okay, so... The visitor is scanning different pieces of the mech now, alright? Or this guy, the scientist, is scanning different pieces of the mech now. He's, I think these are the last two pieces of the mech. Or that might be the last piece right there. But, um, he is scanning the pieces of the mech, and I think that's the last bit. I don't know what he'll do then. But I know he's scanning them for pieces of something. You know, it could very well be pieces for his suit. Because, I mean, you can see his suit has a bunch of, like, si uh, like a bunch of weird stuff on it. Like, he amped up his suit with maybe pieces of the brute. <clears throat> so, you can see over here, everything is still the exact same other than the fact that there are pieces of, you can see they, they don't do anything, right? And then we have some here, we have one here, come over here, we have a piece right here. Oh, that must not have been important. Um, is that important? Can you break this? Huh, I wonder what that is. That's odd, I don't know what that is. But yeah, these are different pieces of the rocket that's going to be built. And I can guarantee that these are the bottom pieces right here. And it's going to be right here. So expect in 10.31, the content update, I think. Is it a content update? I don't know. But in the 10.31 update, we will have the bottom area of the mech built. Or the rocket built. Alright? That'll be next Tuesday, I think. So it's this upcoming Tuesday. It'll probably be around. It'll probably be built up to like here, maybe. Probably. Or here. I don't know. Something like that. Um, it's not going to be built too, too high because we still have 22 or 21 days left of the season. So it'll take a little bit of time for it to go up. But we are nearing the end of the season, meaning that the event could happen any moment, which is awesome. So I'm really excited for that to happen. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me. So we have the bottom piece of the rocket. Oh, okay. One last thing I wanted to mention is. So. I'm going to put this post up on screen right now. Oh, I'm being spammed with invites. I'm sorry. Um, let me dump my dog. One sec. Okay. So, <clears throat> basically, my theory, or not my theory, but this person on Twitter tweeted that they figured out what the bottom of the rocket was in the Season 4 live rocket event. So if you got my oh this is cool. All right, if you guys, if you guys if you guys know about the if you guys saw the season 4 rocket event or haven't heard of it or anything. The season 4 rocket event was basically a rocket that was built actually I'll just go on the map. Was built right here in the villain's lair, right here. And then it shot up it shot up into the sky, right? And it was going super it was going super high. And then it stopped in the sky. It like a piece flew off of it, right? halfway up it flew off and that piece landed over here where lazy lynx was and where anarchy was at the at the time now when the when the piece of the rocket flew off i think we were it was anarchy and anarchy had a piece fly off and it shot off lasers over tilted which is where the rocket ended up falling through and those lasers that were over tilted broke a rift open and the rocket shot into it now, that show, that proves right there, that piece that flew off was indeed a, a rift beacon, right? Which is what the vis this visitor, or the scientist, I should call him, this is what the scientist has been placing around the map to, like, turn this place into his own, right? His own dimension is what I was talking about. And that's basically what he's trying to do, and turns out the old visitor was trying to do something similar when a piece of the bottom of the rocket, which turned out to be a rift beacon, shot off on the Aranarchy and accidentally shot off a rift that the rocket ended up shooting into. And now when you guys saw the rocket shooting between rifts in the sky, right, it shot up, it went into that rift, and then it appeared somewhere over there, and it was like standing across, and it went over Loot Lake, and then it like went into a rift over here, I think, over Greasy. And then all of a sudden... It appeared over Loot Lake at the time. It was Loot Lake, or it still is Loot Lake, but it appeared over Loot Lake, and it shot into the sky and created the giant rift we had in Season 5. That might have been confusing, I'm sorry. But um, basically, it was just a bunch of rifts, and the rocket was everywhere. Anyway, what, I was, what I'm trying to say is that when 
the rocket would go into a rift and disappear for a second. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. The rocket actually was going into the zero point, as we could see in the season 10, the season X trailer. Because in the very start of it, Jonesy saw a rocket flying through the zero point, which is the exact rocket that was inside of the zero point for a quick second. Okay, now I'm going to start over, just so you understand. Rocket shot up, piece flew off, accidentally shot off a rift. Uh, the rift beacon flew off the rocket, shot off a rift. The rocket shot down into the rift, right? And when it disappeared for a little bit, it was inside the zero point, And it would keep coming out of the zero point in different areas. Like it came out of the zero point over there, and it flew across, and it went to the zero point over there. And then it came out of the zero point in Lo over Loot Lake. And then went back into the zero point after we had the giant rift. So as of right now, that season four rocket should be in the zero point if my theory is correct. Or if this person on Twitter's theory is correct. Um, so I think that's a really cool uh, theory and everything. Because if you if you look in the leaks and stuff, it's the exact same model for the, with, for the rift beacon and for the rocket. Uh, so I think that's really cool and I'm really excited to see what happens. Um, again, I don't... I don't know if I actually changed my theory <laughs> from the last video or not, but this is my updated theory. This rocket is going to be built. It's going to shoot up into the sky. The other rocket's going to mysteriously come out of one of those rifts in the sky, right? It's going to come out because these are leading into the zero point, if you guys don't know. This is the zero point dropping places from other dimensions. So, a rocket, the rocket from season four is going to pop off one of these rifts. It's going to come flying into this one, and it's going to explode, a big boom and we're going to be sent into a new map. Now, I don't know what Fortnite's going to do, because there's season... Because the event is never right before season 11, or any new season. It's always, like, a week or two ahead. So I don't know what's going to happen then. I think maybe it'll explode, and I think it would be cool if it explodes and we're just playing in, like, a giant white map until season 11 launches and then we get the new map that was supposed to have but i think it'd be really odd if the event happened and we already had the new map and for season 11 like we just already had the map change so i don't know what Fortnite's gonna do i think that's a little confusing so i'm curious to see what happens then um but other than that i think that's it we have the Mr. Gold this game with all his styles we have the theory about maybe the Ice King and the prisoner and those unknown, those other elements that were at the table in the castle. Maybe being the other seven, um, or the other three actually, or four. I, I don't, I, I've lost track. But one of those people, and we also have the rocket being built over there, and we have the rocket in the nexus, in the, in the nexus actually. Zero point nexus, so that's all the same thing. But, um, I honestly think that's really crazy. Quick shout out to my past three subscribers. I've been at 85 for a while, and just recently in the past two days, you guys have, you guys know who you are. So you guys subscribed, and I'm not, I'm at 88 subscribers now. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot. And if you're new, make sure to smash the subscribe button and like the video and subscribe to become part of the Reaper family. And thank you for watching and keep it reaping.